The thing that I love most about the scenic projections is, one, I can afford them. I have always, in my history of theater, I loved when our theater director for our community theater would, would rent drops, the big drops where they come all rolled up and folded up, you have to unroll them and let the wrinkles settle out and then you tie them up to the fly system and then you fly them and then all of a sudden you've got trees in your space, are magical and amazing. I have no hope of ever being able to afford <laughs> any set of drops that are physical drops. I love drops, I love what they do in a space, I love how they provide depth in a space, I love how they create, I don't know, it's a, back, a backdrop for your action. So the, there's moments when you want the audience to be in a dark room with you and just imagine what someone's going through, but there are other moments when you want the audience to be drawn into your stage as though there's a Narnia whole world behind that wardrobe, right? Drops are an incredible way to do that. And the, that's what I love about projections is you can do that simply. You don't have to have a team of 40 to tie up your drop and then a team of 40 to untie it and take it down, and plus you don't have to spend the, quite the same amount of money that it costs to rent something like that. Um, instead of all of that unwieldy, and you also don't have to have a fly system, which I've never had in any theater I've been able to produce anything in, and so you have all of this freedom all of a sudden to have the same power and depth and excitement and realism or artisticness, it's not a word, but of drops, but you can do it on your budget and with your what you have available around. So I've used drops in almost everything I've done because it creates an incredible connection between the audience and the story without ever having to lift a finger. So that's a lot of my job already done for me. Also, then I can act a little bit as my own art director. I can act as, I, I can work with the person creating the drops and they in turn become sort of my scenic designer, but then I'm working with them instead of someone trying to reproduce my vision physically with paint brushes and sets and stuff like that. So I love projections more than most things um, because they bring my story just to life. It's incredible. Also, they become a very interesting light element on the stage, which is fun. The first time it First time I used a drop, I was like, oh, there's a ton of backlight. Oh my gosh, there's all this light coming from here. And then you, you, you come across interesting things like shadows and, and um, displaying parts of the projection on actors' faces. But once you know that you have that, you can use that as an extra light element as well. And it's a lot of fun.